Welcome back to another Daily Classics Top Pick based on originality, condition, and price. Today's feature car is a 1999 Cadillac DeVille D'Elegance. You're going to love this car. My name is Rob Lofaris. You're watching the Daily Classics channel. Let's go check this car out. I found this car on Craigslist yesterday. It's really pretty. It's a 1999 Cadillac DeVille D'Elegance edition with 74,000 miles. The seller is asking $5,000, and it's based in Columbus, Ohio. And it was posted about a day ago. I don't believe this car is the concourse trim, uh, but they did away in 1997. They did away with the side skirts. Uh, so they all had the open wheel well in the back. But either way, if it's a regular uh, D'Elegance, the MSRP on this car was $43,000 when new. So at $5,000 ask, you know, if you were to buy this car for, let's say, $4,000, the North Star issues kind of melt away. Um, and we have to assume there might be some Ohio undercarriage surface rust on this car but it does look like a garage kept car uh let's dive into the actual ad and do a quick walk around the everything looks really correct on this car the wheels look very nice and by the way they're brand new uh michelin tires which is you know for somebody to buy michelin tires on a used car um that tells me they take good care of the car so you know those are expensive uh tires to buy uh but everything looks nice you know the side side moldings look really nice and original looks like it has the original pinstripe on the car, the gold pinstripe. Um, the front end, the sheet metal all lines up. Um, you know, the hood looks nice. doesn't look like there's any any apparent type of, you know, like uh, surface peel, you know, with the clear coats that's very common with some General Motors cars when they sit outside. So I'm thinking this car was definitely an indoor car. The rear of the car looks really nice. doesn't look like it's been hit. Uh, doesn't look like there's body work on this car. But again, it's photos. But a lot of things I can tell is like, you know, there's no mismatches between the plastic uh, fill here in the rear uh, with the sheet metal. So this looks like the original color paint that was applied on the car when it was new. So I'm thinking this car is an honest car. You know, I love this profile. I think it's very elegant looking. So really, you know, the D'Elegance, it, it does look elegant, um, but it's really nice. It's got a little chrome, chrome accents around the car. It does have the North Star engine. And, you know, the problem with the North Star engine this car has the LD8 uh, North Star engine. They, it has 275 horsepower. But the problem with the North Stars were that the bolts that they used for the head uh, head bolts for the head gaskets and things, those bolts stretched beyond their you know, capacity. And when they stretched after a while because of wear and fatigue on the bolt, it would actually end up, you know, loosening things up and the next thing you know you have a, a rupturing you know head gasket seal and you end up blowing the head gasket now it doesn't happen to all the cars it, it happens to a lot of cars that aren't well maintained um, and even if you did need to do head gaskets on this car if you were to buy this car for four thousand dollars you still have um, a good entry point and because it only has, has low miles i think this car is worth putting some money into uh, as a daily driver, you know, it's not a classic, you know, we find daily classics and we find nice drivers too. And to me, this is a really nice driver, but again, the interior looks really nice. The leather interior doesn't look abused. Um, you know, and again, the hood shows, shows very well. I don't see any clear coat, you know, uh, issues. Door panels look original. looks like nobody ever sat in the back seat. So again, a nice car, I think for the money, uh, for for five thousand dollars asking price, if he was to accept four forty five hundred dollars, I think he can pick up a, a really good daily driver, and that's what we're about. We're about the difference between this car and let's say if you were to buy a Honda Accord, a, a two thousand eighteen Honda Accord right now, would a hundred thousand miles cost fifteen thousand dollars? So I love hunting down the eighties and the nineteen nineties for daily drivers because few shop these model years. And when I suggest it to people that ask me they're looking for a car, I'll say, hey, why don't you check out the 1980s and the 1990s? There's some really good used cars out there. They look at me kind of funny, like, oh, I'm not going back that far. That car, I wouldn't buy a car that old. But here's here's an opportunity to buy a car for about the about a much money as a new electric bicycle. So I think it's a great deal. But that wraps up this top pick for today to get all the details on this car. Just please visit our homepage, uh, click on the link for the Facebook channel. Um, that would take you right to Facebook. You can find this car there and you can join the community. We have 10,200 members there and you can, well, you know, this car, this car had a lot of commentary and 90% of the commentary was positive. So that's really good. 
Uh, if you like this channel, please subscribe. We're looking to get uh, more subscribers because we'd like to do some live uh, Q and A. Uh, and thank you for your support of this channel. It's really nice to see it grow uh, as well as it's growing so quickly. So, and I'll see you again when I find another one, uh, maybe in an hour or so. But thanks very much for your support again. Till then, enjoy. Have a good afternoon. Bye.